Based on what happened at the charity meeting with Bethany's attitude, I wasn't impressed. And so I decided Bethany needed a timeout. So I asked her if she wanted to meet me and have a drink and to discuss it. Oddly, Kelly asked to meet with me. And I've never heard from her, so it felt like Kelly wanted to have a sit down. for coming and meeting with me. Thank you, I've been waiting like a half an hour. Really? That's too bad. Listen, I just want to make something perfectly clear with you so that we're on the same page. We're not friends. Correct. Right. Okay? So your attitude is for kids. You want to play with me, you come up to me, I don't go down with you. Excuse me, I don't do anything that you want me to do. <laughs> Honestly, Bethany? I don't do anything that you want me to do. You know what? Honestly, I'm waiting to hear what you invited me here to say. I will not indulge you in this, okay? We don't come, we're not the same, okay? This is you, this is me, we don't talk. And You're I, here I'm, because why? Because I won't put up with your antics and your bull****. It's just totally inappropriate. And I know that you think it's really cute and fun, but you embarrass yourself and you really, I felt so badly for you because I was like, oh my God, that poor girl. You felt badly for me? We were talking about arthritis charity and you said, oh, that's so cute. You know I what? Felt badly for you. you know what? The difference between you and me is that while you're busy talking, I'm busy doing things. So you need to like realize the situation. And what we're are you not busy doing? I don't like you. I don't think you're funny. I don't think you're charming. I don't, we are not friends. We will never be friends. This Correct. Is like, okay, good, so I'm just glad that you understand. So you invited me to us here just to, uh, <laughs> to make yourself feel better? You're up here because you're a model, because you put your name on any invitation, because you collect celebrities as friends. Oh, you're really? You're so much more fabulous. Because you've met me 10 times and you act like you've never met me before. Okay. You want to reflect back? Let's go down memory lane. Okay. You came to my house with a guy that, that you flirted with the entire time. Her, oh, that I flirted with yes. your with the man that's taking my picture from Wire Image. Yes. I don't think so. He's hired. And he I, wasn't hired, actually. He was my oh, boyfriend. He came with me. He oh, he came hired. with you. Oh, you yes. were invited to my house. Yes, by Ginny Hilfiger. She's a friend of mine. Right. Okay. Well, that's great. But, you know, Ginny has her opinion of you. I was, like, I was so disgusted by your behavior. I think it's so inappropriate. My Sorry. behavior? What, doing what? You tell me doing what. You tell me. Well, you're making up things well, just to make yourself I, I know, feel better I, by yourself. It's really oh, hard to watch. Really? I'm making things up? So... Let's, let's tell me what happened yesterday. I'm really confused by the whole conversation that you and your little friend had. My tell little me. friend? Yeah. I tell didn't me. know her. She didn't know who you were. Oh, really? Really. She so, she's one of the few people in the world that, that obviously don't know who you are. And who are you? I'm, I know one. Oh, so therefore it's your place in life to tell people and make fun of people when you don't even know me? I'm a stranger. I do not know You're you. You're a stranger. I've met you seven times. You just, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> famous enough for you to pay attention to. You know what, baby? You've met me. I don't You've met me seven I, times. I'm not talking to you. I don't want to know you. You, you have a great life. Later. That was interesting. I d absolutely didn't understand it. I don't know what the purpose was. I don't know what she got out of it. I don't know why she asked me to sit down. I don't know what she ultimately wanted to say. Basically, she was a calamity. And I mean, kel -amity. I thought that Elvis had left the building, but when I went downstairs to leave, Kelly was lurking in the doorway to give me a few more of her words of wisdom. You need to chill out. You are so inappropriate. I'm completely calm. I'm absolutely calm. <laughs> oh my god, you're so crazy. I gotta go on a date. Bye. With your imaginary boyfriend? Okay. Oh.